Now let's get into today's video. And let's start off with a few standalone titles for the Quest that don't require a PC to run. Since I know a lot of you don't have a powerful enough PC for VR, but you still want to be able to enjoy some virtual racing. Dash Dash World We'll start off with a really fun one. This multiplayer, super fast-paced VR kart racing game has a big focus on combat. So if you've ever enjoyed playing Mario Kart, this is very similar in many ways. You'll be battling for first place on a variety of unique tracks, all filled with obstacles, shortcuts and a ton of surprises. As I said, combat is a big part of this game, and there's no shortage of amazing weapons to choose from. And it also has a very well thought out system for switching between shooting and just driving. This one's just super fun and is fantastic for the whole family. Mini Motor Racing X this one is super interesting because it offers more than one way to experience the game. For example, you can either control the tiny toy cars from a top view where you'll have an RC car controller and have to navigate around the track, or if you're more versed in VR, you can jump right in the driver's seat, but beware, it's not for beginners as motion sickness is no joke, and flying through corners while drifting is not quite easy to stomach unless you have a bit of experience. The game features over 50 tracks, a ton of vehicles, a career mode and even a classic and an arcade mode for with or without power-ups. It even comes with multiplayer so it's great to jump in with friends for a casual banter and a bit of fun. Void Racer Extreme not that the other games were too realistic, but this one takes it full on sci-fi with its Tron meets Wipeout art style and gameplay. This is available for most VR titles, but I feel like with this one the need to actually try it out for yourself to understand the fun element is more pronounced. You'll be able to accelerate using your trigger and lean from side to side to steer around the track. Although you can always just rest your arm on something and just rotate the controller to steer if that's more comfortable for you. The void is an area on the maps that drains your bike's battery, which of course slows you down. This game can be pretty hardcore when it comes to motion sickness, but thankfully you can adjust the field of view of the helmet to limit peripheral vision and thus lower the chance to feel uneasy. It has lots of different modes from time trials to online multiplayer, so you could sink quite a bit of time in this one if you enjoy it. Personally, I think the previous two titles are better for the masses and I would go for one of those any day instead of this one. But if you've played it and enjoy it, please let me and other viewers know why in the comments. Now we move on to the PC VR titles, but before we do, I'd like to share two things that are currently on my shopping list for VR racing simulators. The first one is a racing wheel that has fantastic quality yet doesn't completely break the bank the Logitech G920 racing wheel. It's a leather steering wheel with great force feedback, a full three pedal system and the possibility to also add a shifter if you want maximum realism. I plan on buying this as soon as I can afford it, because the next racing titles we're gonna discuss deserve being played with a wheel to complement the immersion that VR brings to the table. The second one especially makes sense for VR since you don't need a second monitor for it. And it's a cockpit that really makes you feel like you're in the seat of a sports car. But again, doesn't cost thousands of dollars and it's the Playseat Challenge. The reason I've picked this one after hours of research is that it's sturdy and comfortable, yet it can still be folded down and tucked away extremely easy. Because my man cave is not like the one you see on MTV's Cribs, so space saving is a big plus for me. You can check out both of them using the links in the description and those are affiliate links which simply means that you won't pay a cent more than you normally would but if you buy something I get a really small percentage from Amazon which helps out the channel immensely. Now let's move on to the big boy games. Assetto Corsa a well-established title in the racing game scene, this one comes with absolutely brilliant physics as well as great force feedback and has a big advantage for those of you who like modding their games. Because there are effectively a lot of ways to customize this title with hundreds of extra cars, tracks and modes. It's probably one of the most balanced titles on this list when it comes to good graphics versus performance requirements. So it still looks great while not requiring a mega beast of a computer. The only unfortunate thing about it is that the menu itself is still Still designed in 2D, which means you'll have to launch the race from your normal PC monitor and then put on the headset and experience the race itself in VR. So there is a bit of fiddling involved, but I think it's absolutely worth it. It also has multiplayer support and is overall one of the most established racing titles. So whether you've tried it before without VR or not, trying it on the Quest will be a very different experience. Eye Racing 
It's one of the most prestigious titles on this list when it comes to online competitive multiplayer racing games. It does come with a hefty monthly subscription and even then you still only get 16 cars included in your membership. But the developers really put in the work to make it worth your while if you're a racing sim fanatic because they've laser scanned over a hundred licensed tracks and over a hundred cars, plus the physics engine and every other aspect that makes a simulator, well, a simulator, are all extremely well made and since it's not quite the absolute state of the art when it comes to graphics, you'll be happy to hear that you don't need to sell your kidney for the latest and greatest PC in order to get a good experience playing this one in VR. Project Cars 2 as you can already see in the footage, this one simply looks stunning. And it's even better when you're seeing it with your own eyes in a VR headset. This game is also probably one of the most varied and dynamic ones on the list. Because it not only has a ton of cars that most of us can only dream of ever driving in real life, but also amazing tracks, dynamic weather, and as already mentioned, great visuals. When it comes to the physics, some may argue that it's not worthy of the name Simulator. But in my opinion, it strikes a wonderful balance that offers a fantastic gameplay experience, whether you're a racing veteran or just starting out. As you can probably imagine, all of that visual candy comes at a cost. And that cost is that you'll need a pretty beefy PC to run it properly. Properly. But if you already have one or are getting one in the future, then this one is a must try in my humble non-expert opinion. Dirt Rally while this one probably needs no introduction, playing it in VR really takes it to the next level. The rally tracks, the physics, the way the cars sound, and just the general feeling of flying through tight corners sideways while your co-pilot is screaming right next to your ear is something every VR enthusiast should try at least once. Be aware though that out of all of the games in this video, if any one of them is going to give you motion sickness, it's probably this one. So be careful and take it easy on the gas pedal for the first few times you jump in. I have to say though that once you get a bit of a handle on it and learn the tracks a bit, you'll really feel like a master Yoda of rally racing. Richard Burns Rally I remember the day I first played the rally school in this game. I wasn't even old enough to get a driver's license and left foot braking simply blew my mind. And yes, that means it's a pretty old title, but because of that you can basically run it on a laptop without issues. Well, it doesn't support VR out of the box because you know, it's as old as time itself, there is a free mod available that adds support and I have to say it works very very well. As you'd expect, the rally physics are really good even after all these years, and while the visuals are obviously nothing to write home about, it's still a hell of a lot of fun. Your biggest problem if you want to try out this game is probably getting an actual copy of it, since the only one I could find was a listing on Amazon which only had one left and it was actually a game CD, so unless you still have a CD-ROM, then you might just need to get creative. I'm not allowed to post any of those links for you guys, but a quick Google search will help you find what you need for sure. Automobilista 2 This one uses the same graphics engine as Project Cars 2, and that is definitely being reflected in the way this game looks. But thankfully, this one seems to have much better performance in VR, thanks to the optimizations made by the developers. So it doesn't need quite as much horsepower as Project Cars 2, which means you'll be able to run it easier and at higher frame rates. The physics are also great and everything is well scaled and feels natural and intuitive. This is a great title and well worth giving a try, especially if you also have or want to get a racing wheel and pedals. Race Room Experience while it might not look like much when you watch it on a flat screen, this is a fantastic racing simulator that is free to play. But be aware that there is also a lot of paid downloadable content. So if you catch the VR racing bug, then be prepared to not be able to keep yourself from getting some of those awesome paid cars. The sound in this game is probably one of the best on this list, and if you also put a pair of nice headphones on, then prepare to sink a lot of hours into it. The physics are very well polished and the force feedback when you're using a wheel is just superb. Be aware though that you do need a fairly good computer to run it at a stable 90 FPS. But since it's free to try out, then you can give it a go and see if it runs the way you want it to. Live for speed this can already be considered a classic. It's been around for a good while and the advantage to that is that you won't need an insanely high spec PC to run it at 90 FPS. It still has a dedicated community if multiplayer is your thing and the physics are extremely well made, which is why it's one of the first choices for fans of drifting to this day. 
For those of you that either already have a racing wheel or plan on getting one, then you'll be happy to know that the force feedback in this game is also excellent, which makes it even more immersive in VR. If you just want to dip your toes into what VR sim racing has to offer, this one also has a free demo available with full multiplayer and VR support, so it's a fantastic way to try it out. Let me know in the comments down below which one of these games you'd like to try, and of course let me know if I've missed one that deserved to be on the list. On one of my other videos, a viewer left a comment saying I should be more creative and stop saying smash the like button because everybody does that. So please do not smash it anymore, it has feelings too, and it was inconsiderate of me to ask you to perform such a violent act. Just gently press it and a thousand years of good luck will be cast upon you. Namaste. And now the choice is yours. What do you want to watch next? Is it this? Or is it this? Thanks for being here and I'll catch you in the next one. Stay well and enjoy VR. Cheers!